Welcome to another Digital Anarchy tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about 3D Invigorator and the Profile Viewer. My name is Jim Tierney, and I am president of Digital Anarchy. And uh, let's dive into it. So the Profile Viewer is what defines the shape of the sides of the 3D object. Or more correctly, the bevel that you choose defines the shape of the side of the object. And the Profile Viewer just allows you to see what that bevel looks like. And you can then apply different materials to each face of that bevel. So as you can see here, I have a very simple bevel on here. It's just a bevel medium. And you can see that I just have a sloped front, a flat side, and a sloped back. And then you can see the back face here and the front face there. And right now, by default, we just have this kind of default gray texture on there, gray material. And that's applied to both the front, the back, and the sides of the object. The great thing about Invigorator is we can actually have six materials that combine to make the object style, as it's called. You can see the object style palette over here. Um, and these are combinations of different materials and different bevels. But you can create your own object style just by using the different materials here and the different bevels. So let's check this out a little bit. So this is a pretty basic bevel. Um, you'll notice as I change to more complex bevels, the sides change and you can see how the shape in the profile viewer changes. You can see the little point that's up here. And of course that's reflected right here. If I get something that's a little bit more complex, like say a half pipe with three stripes, you can now see that I've got my stripes down here and then all these different faces that make up the edges of the 3D object. And of course I can get even more complex with five stripes. We can go grab something like sharps with pleats and so on and so forth. There's lots of different bevel options and they all create something a little bit different in the profile viewer and as far as what shows up on the edges. So I'm going to go with something that's a little bit simpler. We're going to grab a bevel with a scoop and you can see how that looks. I've got a little bit of a slope on the front and the back with a little bit of a divot running along the center of the sides. And you can see how that looks as it traces around my heart shape here. So now let's take a look at how we combine different materials. Right now you'll see each side and the back and the front has a one next to it. And that refers to the, the slot down, the number one slot down here. And if we want to change the look of this, what we need to do is grab a material and either drop it on the object or drop it into the number one slot. So we can just drop it on top of the object and it will automatically put it into the number one slot here. I can now render this out and see that we have a pretty nice looking heart and you might want to just kind of stick with that and that's great. Um, in this case, the number one material here is applied to the entire object, the front, back, sides, the whole enchilada as it were. But if you're not happy with that and you want to go with a little bit more variation, you want to kind of mix it up a little bit, we can certainly do that. So let's say that we want to have black along the front of the bevel here, along this, along this edge. Just get like a little bit of a black outline around the front face of the heart. We can go grab our black texture, our black material, and drop that into the number two slot. And now let's start about breaking up the sides so that we can add different materials to different faces on the sides or even different portions of the faces. If I select my red arrow up here, this is going to allow me to actually section off different parts of the side bevel. As you'll see as I click on the map here and that's going to give me a little red arrow and you'll see that this number one has been duplicated. And that's great because I want to change this number one into a number two. I want to take my black material and drop it on this number one and you can see the the side highlight there. And when I do that, that gives me a nice black ring 
around the edge of the um, face here. And now the really cool thing is that I can come in here and move this arrow and you can see that this black edge will take up more or less of that side. As I scoot it in, it shrinks a little bit so that we have a very thin black line running around the uh, edge of the heart. Or we can expand it out and have it take up you know, practically half the, the entire bevel. But in this case, I really just want to have a very thin outline. So I'm just going to leave it right about there, and that's great. And now for the rest of the sides, I want to have a gold texture on it. Kind of create a kind of this red and gold heart shape. So I'm going to grab my gold texture right here and move that into the number three slot. And then I can drag this over here to where that number one is. And that's going to replace my red texture with a gold texture. So that looks pretty good. Now I can re-render this. And you can see that I'm going to have the original red texture on the front face. I've got a bit of a black outline around that. And then the rest of the heart is a gold texture. And so this kind of creates a very nice red, black and gold texture or object style on my heart shape. And of course you can have any variation of this. Now we could come in here and really go crazy with this and have you know different materials all over this. We could fill this up with all sorts of different materials and create something, you know, pretty horrid, I would imagine. If we just start kind of clicking and dragging and tossing these things all over the place. And you can see that we're going to have a little bit of fun with this. And just create some different types of looks. So now I've got five different materials on this. If I grab my camera here and start spinning around the heart shape, you're going to see I've got a wireframe along the edges. I've got my original shiny red texture uh, along the front and the back. And I have this uh, flat blue texture along the uh, inner scoop. And I still have a little bit of gold right around the edges between the wireframe and the blue. So if I go ahead and render that out, give you an idea of what that looks like. And so there's just lots of different ways that you can play around with this profile editor to create lots of different object styles, play around with lots of different materials, get some really creative looks to the 3D objects that you create, and just have a lot of fun with it. And of course, once you have this, if you really like this style and you think you might want to apply it to other objects later on down the line, you can always come on over to your object style swatches and save that object style. And that's going a little bit off of the screen, but uh, if you're following along at home, you can go to your object style and see all that, all these menu items and save the object styles for later use. And so that's really all there is to the profiles. You have your materials for it down here. You have your arrow creation tools up here and you can use that to divide up the sides of the uh, the bevel and then you just drag and drop the materials onto the sections of the bevel and it's, uh, it's pretty easy so I encourage you to play around with that and uh, have a good time with it and uh, I hope you enjoyed this and found it informative we've got lots of other tutorials on digitalanarchy.com so check them all out and join me next time thanks a lot